ATV, all for one, slap it in 30. It's the last year he's out. It's, uh, it's a story. So, we've arrived in Adelboden. Currently at the Cambrian Hotel here, which has to be one of the best on tour. We're, we're definitely spoiled here. Give you a little show out the window here, what we're looking at. Face piece just there. Decent view. Not bad. We arrived late last night. And if you watched last week's video, you'll know I had to abandon my car in Italy because of some flashing lights and uh, no power. So that's still there. Jumped in the church, got here. Yet to find out what is wrong with the car. Probably find out next week, so stay tuned for that. It is now Friday, two days until the race. Today we have off. Time to chill. And then we get a bit of training in tomorrow before the race on Sunday. But the reality of today is it's Friday. I have not done very much editing on the video that I filmed over the last few days of the prep coming into here. So that means Today, I've got to get stuck in. Little break from the editing suite. Had lunch, now coming out. Get a new set of boots. These are the old ones. I'm gonna get a new set, but meaning to get some for a little while. But finally, time to get it done. Peace. Peace looks all right. Not much other snow though. But apparently it's pretty good. No, I don't know, I need to find the head trailer. Here it is. Got a freshie. We got old versus new. And the snow is coming down. Time to get myself back to the hotel. He's working hard, the best of the Big race. cheese coming up next. Come on, Charlie. Come on, show us Charlie. So, Charlie Raposo of Great Britain wearing bib number 60, the 27 year old. And two oh. seconds off the pace. Oh, he's finding it difficult with the bumps across the flat. Couple of moments where he nearly went inside. And going to need to keep this tidy from here on in. But the errors, you can see the outside ski bouncing around, struggling for grip for Raposo. Yeah, 58-73, the bubble. And I'm afraid for Charlie Raposo. Today, 49th for the time being. Saturday, GS day. We're heading out to hop on the piste after these boys. Sending it down the second run now. They bloody love it here. It doesn't look as steep. Famous last words. Oh boy, you can hear them. They're nuts. Really can't see much here. Who needs to see when you can feel? Yeah, got to feel your way down there. Once these guys are done, once they've moved their course out of the way, we'll be setting up. <laughs> We're not feeling good at warm up, but at least we can watch these guys. Those who can't ski, watch. <laughs> yep. 126, second on the second, run. On the second run. Not bad. Well, we just in time. Time for a bit of slalom. Because the snow was limited after the training courses, we had a small corridor on the race piece to ski down, which meant we could get a feeling for the snow and get a good look at the terrain ready for tomorrow. Because it was already later in the afternoon when we finished training, I kept the evening easy with some mobility and stretching. And as the evening continued, the snow got stronger.
race day. It's still dark outside, but looking a bit foggy. Meant to be a bit of snow, a bit of moisture, and yesterday we had that nasty freezing sleep. Had a full lens freeze up, body freeze up. So plenty of goggles and lenses getting packed up for today. Goggles, extra gloves, storm jacket. Need to be ready to get wet. Coming on, we're about to go over at peace to have a look at the course. We're at Alabon, but have you been to Pendle? No. You know what it's all about today? A to B. A to B. A to Z. Yeah, Bit of A to Z, because you might get lost. Tactics. A to Two B. Tactics. Open one. Fruit finish, fruit beam at the bottom. Slap it in 30. Rock it up for a second run. Oh, boy, my eyes. <laughs> Inspection of warm-up done. Feeling good in the warm-up, felt loose, free, and uh, looks like the viz is getting a bit better. Time to go in. start slalom January I wanted. At least today, me and Billy are here. It's cheer on day for the second run. Come on John, another second run charge please. Really nice 
and smooth, just a tiny bit of the gas, just coming out to the flats. But look at the car and come to don't let that intensity drop, Dave. Ski deep, ski aggressive, don't let yourself relax, turn the steep go, take the risk and charge hard, because you want to look ahead. He has really taken the foot off the pedal and has been that Yeah, tough there from Dave. Not not a run to remember. I was feeling good about Alderboden. But well, we shanked it. There you go. Prep was feeling good. It was all lining up. But still, the result wasn't as was desired. It shows sometimes everything can go perfectly leading in, but it doesn't always come out the way you want it. And that is just that's the game. Had my moment of self pity on the piste. But, Megan, we're coming for you. Look at this. Punch him. Punch his beard off. Anyway, that's it for this week's video. Hope you enjoyed. And another race week means another giveaway. And this week, to win the giveaway, what I want you to do is comment. Obviously, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Drop it a like. And head down to the comments and comment either soft shell or puffer depending on what you want to win and I will pick a winner from the comments and you will win what you comment. Easy as that. Stay tuned, we're now in Wengen, getting ready to race in a couple of days so stay tuned for next week and we'll see you then and we'll be fighting. Yeah I didn't set, I, I forgot to set my alarm so I, I woke up at 5.30 and set it. I knew you forgot to set your alarm. How? Because I just had this feeling and I've been up since 5 o'clock and I was like, I don't think he set his alarm. Yeah, I set my alarm at half past 5. <laughs> I've been up since 5 because I had this instinctual gut feeling that you didn't set an alarm. Well, I'm up. <laughs> <laughs>